Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So today I wanted to talk about my favorite pens to use inside of my planner. I also have a very small mini stationery haul that I thought I would share with you guys as well. So if you would like to see uh, what I have to share, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I get started with today's video, I did want to share with you guys some happy mail that was kindly uh, sent to me from a company called Rose Forever. Uh, they had contacted me and uh, asked if they can send me an arrangement. So I did get to choose what I wanted. And uh, to be honest with you guys, this couldn't have come at a better time. As many of you know, if you're following me on Instagram, I did recently injure my ankle. So this definitely <laughs> um, cheered me up, that's for sure. So just to give you a little bit um, of information about Rose Forever, they are a New York based uh, brand. They were launched back in 2019. So they do specialize in designing uh, luxurious flower bouquets with hand picked exquisite roses that last for a year. So the nice thing about um, these roses is that, uh, you know, they will last a long time. I don't know about you guys, but I stopped buying flowers because they last, you know, a few days and then that's it. And they're very expensive. So what I love about these is that you don't have to worry about watering anything. Um, you know, they will last up to a year. So what they do is they use natural oils um, in order to preserve the roses. And the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artisans. So just to give you an idea, if you go on their website, you see that they have many collections to choose from. So many different designs and basically the base of the arrangement is uh, different. So the one that I chose is the Passion Black Velvet, which is in the ivory color. So as you can see, um, you know, these bouquets or these arrangements do come in uh, a round shape or a square shape. I opted to go with the square shaped. They also do come in different sizes. So um, the boxes come in uh, a size of nine roses. So you get three by three by three. Uh, they also come in 16, which is what I chose, uh, or a box of 36. So just depending on, you know, how big you want the box. I wanted this to fit on my shelf where I have my uh, designer handbags. So this is just the perfect size for my shelf. And that's why I decided to go with these ones. So... Um, you know that I don't share anything on my channel that I don't absolutely love or would use myself. So uh, these, you know, make amazing gifts. Like I said, I use this as decor and the fact that it lasts a year is really nice. And they smell, you guys, they smell so nice. I mean, it's, it's the smell of roses. You can't go wrong with that, right? So they were also kind enough to provide me with a discount code. So the code is RANA20 for $20 off. And again, this code is valid for 30 days. I will have this information linked for you guys in the description box below. So another nice, you know, added touch is that it also comes with a lid um, that is also velvet. So I mean, just the look is just so luxurious, you guys. Uh, you can also put uh, the lid um, underneath and then it becomes a base for your box. So that's how it would look like, um, you know, sitting on your shelf or whatnot. So, um, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. Um, I just absolutely love it and I highly recommend uh, Rose Forever arrangements. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> so again, thank you so much Rose Forever for sending me this beautiful bouquet. All right, so let's get back to the uh, pens that I just absolutely love using in my planner. I'm always getting asked about my pens, uh, which ones I recommend, which ones fit in the Louis Vuitton pen loop. So I wanted to go through that with you guys today. And like I said, I did pick up um, a few things. Again, it's nothing too major. <laughs> it's not like a big haul or anything like that. But I thought I would open them um, with you guys anyway since I was filming this video. So if you did watch my Run Errands With Me video, um, you know, I was looking for a notepad. If you haven't seen it, I will link the video in the description box below. So I was looking for some notepads. I couldn't find any. So I did go on Amazon and I was able to um, grab these ones. Now these are by Hillroy. They are 96 sheets. They're white, so they are um, blank. So I thought 
I would take a look at them with you guys and see if they are worth it. Okay. So it is a pack of five. And I think it was around like $10 or something like that Canadian. So not too bad. Oh, okay. So ooh, they are very, very thin. Mm, a little bit too thin for my liking, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, which you guys know that, um, you know, here on my channel, that's what I'm all about. So would I recommend them? If you like really thin paper, then yes. I prefer my paper to be a little bit thicker when it comes to a notepad. Um, so I guess I will still keep looking. If I do find something else, I will share that with you guys um, here as well. So when it comes to pens that I like using in my planner, it's all about quick dry for me. I love pens that, um, you know, I don't have to wait a long time for the ink to dry especially when I'm on the go and I want to write something in my planner and, uh, you know, I write something down, I close my planner. If the pen doesn't dry very quickly, then the ink is just going to smudge on both uh, pages and I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> so, you know, and again, when you're on the go, sometimes you just don't have the time to sit there and wait for your ink to dry, which is why I just love using quick dry pens. So when it comes to quick dry, um, one of my absolute favorites is this pen over here. It is from a company called Cloth and Paper. As always, I will link the shop names in the description box below for you guys. So the Sarasa Dry Air Fit uh, Grip 0 0.4. Another uh, theme or another feature that I love with my pens is that they are fine point. Um, I love, you know, fine point pens. I think they just make my writing look a lot nicer. So, um, again, this pen I absolutely love. It is from Cloth and Paper. I love how it has the grip. I love the look of it. Um, as you will notice, uh, I also, for some reason, I've been into pens with a white barrel. Don't ask me why. <laughs> it just seems to be my latest obsession. So to answer the question of whether this fits in my Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda, the answer is, of course, no. And I'm not one to clip my pen either. I don't want to wreck that. Um, I think it also will fall out. So I don't, um, I don't take this planner with me. It always stays, you know, in my desk drawer. So I use it when I'm at home. Um, but uh, highly recommend this pen. So just to show you how this pen writes. Now it does come, I believe, in the 0 0.5 um, ink as well. So that's how it writes. You know, it's very smooth. And um, yeah, it's almost like a marker. So it is a very dark black. So if you like that, then you will definitely love this pen. So that is the Sarasa Dry Air Fit Grip 0 0.4 from Cloth and Paper. So let's move on to another feature that I absolutely love. And that is um, to have or for my pen to be erasable or to have erasable ink. I make a lot of mistakes in my planner. I don't like to use whiteout in my planner. So when it comes to an erasable pen, absolutely love using the Pilot Friction. Again, this one is from Amazon. So it did come in a three pack, white, black, and blue. I don't know where the blue one is, but uh, absolutely love the white and that's why I bought the pack. So let's see how this one writes compared to the uh, Sarasa Airfit Grip. So one thing that you will notice is that it's not the smoothest. So you can see how it has, you know, those little dots. So it's not the smoothest. If that bothers you, then this pen is definitely not for you. Um, and you can also see that it's not a very dark black, which I personally really love because I find that the ink is not so in your face. So this is the ink that I'm using here. It is the pen that uh, I use when I plan. Um, I think that for me, I, I love it. I think it's good enough. And then it does have this rubber tip here at the end. Um, so if you wanted to erase, that's what you would use. Okay. All right. So there you go. Um, I just, like I said, personally prefer erasable ink, especially when I'm, you know, um, doing my budgeting and things like that. 
again, you know, I make a lot of mistakes. So I just think it looks a lot neater um, to be able to erase. They also have highlighters as well. If you are interested in erasable highlighters, you can find those on Amazon as well. Now, one thing that I didn't know and one of my subscribers actually mentioned to me, and if you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, I did not know this because I ran out of ink and I was so crushed. So I went and purchased... Uh, if you guys, again, saw that video of running errands with me, I did go ahead and purchase um, these ones from Walmart. These ones are also extra fine. So as you can see, the Palette Friction pens come with the retractable, okay? Or they come with a cap, like this one over here. So you can see it's also a very fine tip, Okay. I think they also come in blue ink. They come in a lot of different color inks as well. So if you like to color code, um, you know, highly recommend the Pilot Friction pens. So um, let's see how this one writes. So I'm just going to write uh, this one again. So these are both 0 0.5. Yeah, so they pretty much write the same, okay? Now, when it comes to which one fits in the pen loop, this one is a really narrow um, barrel. So if you have a more narrow pen loop, this one fits great. So you can see it fits no problem. Um, I can even pull it a little bit down to kind of clip it a little bit more. So this one, because of the rubber over here, kind of gives me a little bit of a hard time at first, but then it slides in perfectly. So, um, you know, whichever one you're using will definitely fit. Um, the one thing that I was saying about this, which I had no idea, is the fact that if you do run out of ink, you can refill, <laughs> which I was shocked, you guys. I was so happy when she told me that. So you can use whatever refill you want. Let's say you wanted to go ahead and try 0 0.7. Let's say you wanted to try another color. Love the fact that you can do that. So I did go ahead and purchase uh, the refills from Amazon. So I did get the extra fine 0 0.5 in the black. Okay. So this way I've got backup. When this runs out of ink, I don't have to, um, you know, buy a new pen or whatnot, I can still use the barrel that I absolutely love with the refills. Okay, so just to recap, um, love using Sarasa, quick dry, love using erasable. Now, when it comes to um, page flags or transparent uh, sticky notes, so page flags like these ones over here, these ones are very popular in the planner community. They are transparent, okay? So they're kind of um, like a plasticky kind of uh, slippery sort of material, which means you cannot just use whatever pen you like, uh, otherwise your ink will smear. So the pen that I use to write on um, transparent sticky notes or page flags is this pen over here from Cloth and Paper. It is the oil-based ink marking pen. So again, because you guys know I love fine tip, I did get the 01. I believe it comes in 01, 02, or 03. So it is a pretty fine tip. Okay, so just to show you how it writes on the transparent page flags. I don't use this pen to write on paper. I just use it specifically um, to write on my transparent page flags and uh, transparent sticky notes. So with this one, I noticed that you do have to wait a little bit longer. But again, I don't use, you know, this pen on the go or anything like that. I don't carry it in my planner. I strictly use it at home. So you can see when you um, swipe your finger, uh, it doesn't smudge. Okay. Now I know that some people use the Sharpie. I personally haven't uh, tried using it on, you know, transparent uh, sticky notes or uh page flags, 
But uh, let me know in the comment section below what uh, you know what pens do you guys like to use? What are some of your favorite pens that you like to use inside of your planner? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, this way we can help each other, give each other some ideas on different pens to use. So that is it, you guys. These are my favorite pens to use inside of my planner. Uh, these are the ones that uh, I'm using all the time. If you see them in my picture um, or posts on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure that you follow me uh, on there. That's where I share how I'm using my inserts and how I'm using my planner. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. As always, I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care guys. Bye-bye.